it once again has been a little bit of time since the last time I put up a video. Um, and that is still because I'm at school and my car is back home. <laughs> so I quite literally have not been able to um, put anything up on YouTube because I haven't been able to work on the car. But I still want to put stuff up on YouTube and I've had sort of this second wind so I figured let's do some videos where I talk about the car and what I'm going to do in the very near future with it, which will be the projects you'll see coming up soon. So this video I'm going to talk about um, the things that I want to do with the car in the future. Um, and I've sort of ranked them in order of when I want to do them and when I can realistically do them, um, if that makes sense. So yeah, I think without further ado, I should uh, start talking. So I have about eight things listed, um, but the first one I didn't put in the list. It's sort of like a an honorable mention. Um, so the honorable mention that I want to put in is um, my new old radio that I will be putting into the car, which will actually be the next in-car video that is going to go up. It's the next project that I have in line. Um, as some of you know, I previously had replaced the old radio that was in the car um, because I felt like I wanted to have an upgrade. Um, but it turns out that for what I want with this car, it's not exactly what I was thinking of. So I bought a radio from an old NB Miata, which has a cassette player and a radio and a CD player, which I'm gonna install into the car next. And in my opinion, it's gonna look way better with the interior of the car. Like, the one I have in now, yes, it's an upgrade, but it definitely sticks out like a, like a sore thumb. So because of that, I'm gonna, I guess downgrade, but in my eyes upgrade to an NB radio because it'll look a lot better. And I have a lot of CDs and the CD player would be really, really cool to have in my 90s car uh, listening to CDs. So that's the honorable mention. So without further ado, let's get into the proper mods that I wanna do next. So the first one that I have written down here is an exhaust. Um, I think that the way the car currently sounds and with the way the exhaust tip looks, are definitely reason to get an exhaust. Uh, I mean, the ones I'm looking at are relatively cheap because I mean, Miata parts are always cheap. Um, but they're gonna, it's gonna look really nice. I have a few in mind, I'll, I'll put some pictures up on screen. Having a nice chrome exhaust tip will match the wheels, it'll match the color of the car, it'll match the whole style of the car. Um, so a new exhaust is the next thing that I wanna do for the car. It's gonna be in budget, and I think it's a, a great next step for what I'm planning with this car. Okay, so the second thing that I'm thinking of uh, getting for my car is a proper roll bar. I would say that one of the most important things to have in any car is safety. I'm not saying that my car is unsafe, but I just don't want to take any chances at all. So I think that a roll bar would be a really good step in the near future for my car, just to make it a little safer and just to have that peace of mind. Um, and if I want to ever compete with my car, not saying that I feel like I will do good or that I really want to do that to my car right now, but if I ever do, if I ever want to like do any racing events or autocross or anything like that, I'm going to need to have a roll bar. So I think for safety and the future, it'll be a good thing to have uh, for my car. And I also think it would look good, um, so it has those extra bonus points. So now moving on to the third thing that I want to do with my car, and that is get the upgraded um, center console. Now this is a product that um, I see on Moss Miata's website. Basically what it does is it extends the uh, length of the actual center console by moving the cup holders from the god-awful position that they're in right now to 
further up into the right. I'll put a, a, a picture on screen so that you understand what I'm actually trying to say. Um, but man, the current cup holders, not only are they terrible at holding drinks, absolutely terrible, the thing is flimsy, uh, but it's in the worst possible place ever. And you'd think that for a, a car that is driver focused, you'd think they'd put the cup holders somewhere besides right next to the shift knob. If I ever want to, you know, take my sister to go get milkshakes, for example, this is a real scenario that has happened, we can't put them in the cup holders of the car because then I can't drive. So it's just so annoying and it'll look OEM and everything. I think it, it won't like look bad in the car and it would just be so much better for the whole interior. After getting that, my interior will be like really, really sorted. Moving on to number four, this is sort of in the same vein. Uh, actually, and that is getting a aftermarket trunk carpet. This might seem a little weird uh, to some of you watching, but um, the reason I'm thinking about this is because I've already used my car last summer for a road trip, about two or three hour drive, not crazy far, but <laughs> I had to put a lot of things in the trunk and it was me and my friend going um, and he just didn't want to put things back there because it was gross. It wasn't like, it's not dirty. Like when I bought the car, I cleaned out the trunk and everything. It's not dirty. It's just gross looking due to age. I mean, it's an old car and places that are uncovered without carpet are not going to look good. What do you expect? So, um, yeah, I think a good inexpensive thing to get, uh, just for the overall uh, package of the car would be a trunk carpet. Number five, I want to talk about coilovers because I'm sure that after getting my new wheels, a lot of people have been thinking about, um, you know, when am I going to get coilovers? And I was thinking about that too. Um, I was sort of worried that uh, when I bought the wheels, they would be huge and make the car look like a monster truck and make it look just super ugly, like way too high. But I actually, I think the opposite. Um, I think the way that I have them set up with the wheel size and the tire size, it actually lowered the car a little bit. Um, it could be placebo, but I think it did lower it a small amount. And if I'm being completely honest, um, since getting my new wheels, I've had some instances where I'm driving on the road and I'll go over a normal dip in the road and something will scrape <laughs> on the bottom of my car. So I'm going to wait a little bit on the coilovers, I think, um, just because, I mean, I don't think it's egregiously high, like the, the, the car doesn't sit egregiously high and, um, they're just not super necessary for me right now. I did the sway bars. I did the wider wheels. It handles so good. Like it drives amazing. I wish you guys could all experience how this car drives. Um, but that, for that reason, I think I'm going to wait on the coilovers. And when I do, I want to get quality ones. Right now in my budget, I simply, if I were to buy coilovers, they would be really crappy, to be completely honest. And I, I don't want to skimp out on such an important part. So I'm going to wait, get proper ones that don't slam it to the floor, because I care about how it drives. And that's what I'm thinking about coilovers. And that is number six. Um, and that is a hard top. I am absolutely dying to see the day where my car gets a proper white or black, I guess, hard top. Um, I think that the current soft top is perfectly fine. It is, it looks really good. It, yeah, it looks really good. And we just replaced it, um, <clears throat> and all that amazing stuff. But man, once that once this current soft top goes, which eventually I know it will, and eventually when I get enough budget, I am buying a hard top for this car because I think it just looks so much better. Um, I mean, it's, it's removable if I ever want to have the top down and it just would complete the look of the car a lot more than having the soft top. The soft top, don't get me wrong, it doesn't look bad and I love the upgrade I did because when I first bought the car, it was totally destroyed and I had to replace it. So I'm not gonna um, say that it looks bad now, because it certainly doesn't. It's just that, in my opinion, a hard top eventually would look much better. And then finally, we get to the next one, which I guess is a whole category, and that is engine mods. 
Um, and I'm sure that every single person watching this has been wondering when I'm gonna say anything related to the engine or horsepower or performance in that regard. And yes, I know I haven't done anything yet um, for the performance of the car. And there's a few reasons for that. I, one, don't have it in the budget to do it yet. I will eventually. And I'm gonna have videos about it and I, I will do it, I promise. But right now I simply don't have it in the budget and I don't wanna do anything to this car right now with a crappy part that's gonna end up screwing my whole motor and being a waste of time at the end of the day. I love the way that this car drives right now and I don't wanna do anything to jeopardize that in the future. Um, I wanna be smart about it, I don't wanna jump into anything um, that I don't know what I'm getting into. You know, I've looked at all the, the relatively cheap ones like cold air intakes. The thing is with those, with the power that my car makes, which is not a lot, uh, a cold air intake on its own really wouldn't do much. A lot of forums talk about how um, at most it would add like five horsepower, which I mean, on a 100 horsepower car, five is a significant amount. But I mean, I could be wrong on this, but a lot of people just say that they're not worth it on their own. But don't get me wrong, I am gonna do them. It's just that they're not in my budget right now and the things that I could do would be not worth it right now because I love the way it feels right now and I don't wanna do anything to jeopardize it. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. So those are the realistic mods that I wanna do to my car uh, in the future. Um, if there's any more that you would suggest to me that I haven't been thinking of, I'm, I'm 100% sure that there are many more that I'm not thinking of that I would be like, oh man, uh, like that would be super cool. If you have ideas, comment them in the comments below and I will look at them because there's a million mods I can do and a million projects that I can make videos about and I want to. So just let me know and um, yeah, thanks for watching this sort of different video for this channel, but I wanted to make a video and I wanted to talk about my car and I, I love talking about cars, driving cars, and uh, working on my car. So all these things are fun for me. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you stay for this summer when I start making project videos again, because they will be coming right when I get home. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you next time.